Hey there, do-it-yourself technicians. This is a test. Um, I'm going to try live streaming me upgrading a laptop. No, a desktop. This HP all-in-one desktop has a two terabyte spinning disk unit and only eight gig of RAM. The customer wants to be able to edit music on it. So we're putting a two terabyte SSD on it and an extra eight gig of RAM and then it will get a fresh install of Windows. I'm not sure that will happen in this live stream because I have about an hour in total before I need to vamoose. Um, but I just needed to give it a try, so here we are. We have our Buzz Lightyear towel on the desk to project the screen. And now we hit the first hurdle, which is the microphone is completely away. And I need a different screwdriver. Doing well so far. I'm gonna rest the mic there. Hope you can still hear me and run with it. Can you see? Yeah. There's actually four Allen key screws there. But they are rather large ones, which I don't have a screwdriver for handy. smaller than they look. Question is, can I get my drill in there? Yes, it looks like I can. But it doesn't stay in for a while. Hot 
hopefully it gets easier from here. The next step is to pop out this rubber grommet, which you can sort of see. Yeah. And I believe that's a simple unlock mechanism. No, not one that I can turn. difficult to pick up and maneuver without the stand attached. Definitely turns and unlocks. But needs a little more encouragement. Switch to there. Hopefully, you'll be able to see that when I turn it, it's popping the face open. Ah, there we go. That's what I needed to be. No, it doesn't want to stay there. Nice little happy pop of all the clips coming undone all the way across.
have it released most of the way around. Just be particularly careful around this the button on the corner. There we go. Now we just need to find out where the cables go and which way we can. Okay, slide it back. And it's just a cable for the DVD drive. Which unclips and unplugs. And doesn't want to come out. There we go. We made it inside. Okay, as you would expect for one of these all-in-ones, it's all, all a, bit a bit messy. Messy. Well, actually, well, actually it's, it's fairly well laid, fairly well laid out. Give that camera a bit of a lift. There we go. <coughs> now, now we can see everything you need to. Hard drive. Expansion board. Um, we'll probably be under there. there. Start, Start point. point. I'm doing, doing the hard drive. drive. There's a single screw. Manual screwdriver. Might have really rocked that in well. And that's just a little bit. <laughs> this kit that I showed a few weeks ago might have a big enough bit. Major a difference there. And, and it, it finally, finally wants, wants to come, come out. out. Yeah. The whole assembly slides out. out. And, and we, we are free. free. This one, you need to take the hard drive itself out of the caddy. And remember, 
remember which way it goes. So I have this little caddy, which is great because it'll actually hold two SSDs. Not that that's probably going to be useful this time around, but Get angry at my kids for opening things badly. Even comes with an extra spacer in case it's too thin. do is put a couple of screws in in there's just enough to hold it in place so that I can take the old drive out pop this one in but that cord simply isn't going to be able to reach It'd be lovely to just go, let's 3D print a new driving plane. <sighs> Alas. What we really need is the drive there and look. The holes mount up so that it can be mounted straight to the caddy without requiring the plastic caddy that I had. So I'm going to take these screws and this caddy and pop them aside. screws. Now that I've lost them off the back of the desk. Great thing about solid state drives is that you can drop them without any issues. Press 
because there are no moving parts. Once there's one screw in to hold it, it gets very easy. Spoke too soon. We can then put all the screws back in. <coughs> there we have the drive mounted, accessible from the edge, ready to go. So that will go back there. Slide in under all of the clips. The connector goes in. And the really difficult screw can also go back in. We're halfway there. The second part is to get this cover off because I can just see the RAM underneath. And there's a screw there and there, but it's a separate panel to this one, which means I don't have to take this bracket off. You can't see. There's a screw there. And possibly another screw there. Clips holding it in on this end. Might be another one under there that I can't quite see. Hopefully we don't have to take this off because we need to take this bracket off that holds the stand on. Get rid of the old hard drive screws. Slide it forward. There's a catch on there. Hmm. Hmm. Let's, Let's see. The way things, the way are, things are going, we might have to strip the whole thing back. One screw. One. One. Except that it runs all the way along the side down here and here, connecting everything to this. And I'm hoping I don't have to take that off. Screw there, screw there with arrows. Let's start by taking one of these out and seeing if they 
just screw to the metal plate underneath or whether they go deeper. Maybe just screw to that plate. So it's possible that whole plate will come off. If I take these screws out. Good news, all of the screws are the same. So far. layer of plastic that's stuck to both the top and the bottom. I just need to see where it's best to come away from. stick back on when it's pushed back down. That whole lot lifts off. Well, anyway, considering how this has been, it wasn't too bad. In hindsight, yep, that should definitely come off there and be stuck there. It should never have come off in the first place. Good news is the RAM is nice and now easily accessible. And assuming they told us the right RAM, this strip is clipping. We're mostly done. Clip and clack. Two A gig modules. The machine is beautiful and clean, not even any dust in the fan. So I don't feel any need to dust it. You can simply lay this back in, check that everything went okay with the sponge, which it did. And then we just put the screws back in. And now we literally just have to put it back together and we are done. But before we do that, I'm just going to put a couple of screws in. It's not going to boot <coughs> because the hard drive is blank, but we can at least turn it on, flip it up, probably not in that order. Hopefully, post to the point 
whether we can find out that it has 16 gig of RAM. Unfortunately, the power button is under this corner. HDMI in cable. Okay, there is a button here that allows you to use this as just a screen. sideways but that button is quite deeply recessed maybe I was wrong this is the power button and I've got it upside down upside down. It happens. You're allowed to be wrong and you're allowed to learn. Power that up. Memory size 16 gigabytes. Keyboard error. Tries to boot off the network. I'm calling this done. It's been an interesting experiment. If you've been watching, thank you. Assuming everything goes as it normally would. Yes, you can see me now. I can turn this off again. Straighten out the buzz and put it down. Right, well, that was an experience and an experiment. Thank you for watching. Uh, assuming that this all works the way it normally does, I can actually put an end screen on. So you can actually see some videos up here that you may not have seen before. You can subscribe to the channel down here and join our mailing list up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.